This is Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars and we've got a 1972 Volkswagen Beetle. Barely touched the key and she fires right up. I'm gonna take this car for a spin. Show you around down here in the cul-de-sac. So this has actually been our personal vehicle. And uh, since the weather's gotten nice, pretty much daily driver, and what I mean by daily is literally daily, uh, my wife and my daughter both drive this vehicle really more than I do. I've only driven it a couple times, but uh, the girls are driving it, and uh, I think that's a good testimony to the reliability. The uh, speedometer works, and the gas gauge works. It steers nice and straight. Just had it serviced by Moon Air Cooled and just went through and had a tune-up done. So it's got a fresh tune-up. The engine runs perfect. I mean, it really, you just barely touch the key as you saw me do just a second ago. Reverse works good. E-brake holds. healthy little beetle engine whereas my my Volkswagen guy likes to say happy a happy little beetle he's a he's a good guy and he's he really knows what he's doing when it comes to these Volkswagens steer um, got seat belts in here just kind of getting things arranged a little bit so let's take a look at this <clears throat> one of my favorite things about this car is just the color this is just an iconic Volkswagen color and uh, of course these cars just pull this off so well the paint on this cars uh, of, of what I'd call a pretty high quality driver paint job um, you know this isn't a show car this is a daily driver but the paint looks awesome and it's got like two imperfections on the entire car and I'll tell you what since I'm back here I'll show you got a tiny little crack right here but get really really close you can see the size of it this is about the size of my finger now to those two little there got one here right behind the license plate and when you put the license plate on you don't even see that so if I had a license plate on it you wouldn't even see that other than that I think that's the only imperfections that um, are on the vehicle uh, for for the, as far as the paint is concerned it's got new tires chrome wheels with chrome hubcaps it's got these upgraded step step boards and they look really nice aluminum black and aluminum step boards the lines on the body are really straight and there's no rust on the car let's see if it's unlocked now got to unlock it from the inside so a couple of little spots um, looks like like for example this this little eyelid here looks brand new this one looks a little older you can see a little signs of wear on it and like the turn signals they're a little bit older maybe probably original to it they have that you get really close up on these turn signals you know you see the little cracks that are inside of them the thing is is buying stuff like that is actually they only cost about ten dollars to do that and you can make them brand new again and uh, you know i just didn't do it i don't keep that in stock and i'd have to order that stuff and it hasn't bothered us so chrome pieces above the engine where the vents are look really nice really nice tan out cover all matching everything black which looks really good so uh, the door panels and the seat covers are brand new. They look fantastic, as well as the carpet kit. Carpet kit's about a year old, but still in like new condition. Really, really clean with the little bug um, floor mats there. But the seats were just covered and we've probably driven it 50 miles since the seats have been reinstalled. Um, I went with the low back uh, late 60s look. Uh, 72 would have possibly had um, a higher back seat or a headrest but we decided to go with a low back look they just it's a really clean look it's super comfortable and um, really really like the way these turned out and i went ahead and did the front and back seats we've got seat belts in the back as well carpet all back here looks really nice the dash on the car looks great i think the key has to be on for the horn to work and you know what i know the horn works i think there's a little wire that just got disconnected i noticed when we were 
when we were doing the uh, Not much. Um, everybody always stopping and asking about that um, so really good looking dash nice looking horn oh I was detailing the car and I noticed I think the horn button uh, wire just needs to be reconnected because I know the horn was working earlier so stereo does work nice little Kenwood stereo so it's always nice to have tunes while you're cruising around and it does have some speakers back here in the back um, and those sound really good um, so let's see all the windows are in great shape and the windows roll up and down easily you can see how easily they roll and they look great rear windows as well look real nice there are a couple of spots and I just caught my eye looking here I believe the car was originally red before somebody painted it this color so there are two or three spots on the car where you can actually see it got scratched maybe installing the weather stripping they scratched it and you can see the red and just like that spot and I'm maybe see if I can try and find the other spots window rolling up nice and easy there like I said nice new um, seat covers I mean I'm sorry not just the seat covers but the uh, door door uh, door panels is what I was trying to show there and so we will take um, well I'm not gonna do it in the video you have to look at the steel still pictures but you can see the top is also in new condition it's in excellent condition it's a white top and I don't want to take it off just because I'm getting ready to do the photos and I usually do all the photos with the top down the windows down first roll it all up and finish it off with them up just real quick I know what everybody likes to see is underneath the car and uh, just how clean it is these are the uh, we believe these to be the original floor pans in really great shape including under here where the battery would be rockers are in good shape engine has that tiny little uh drip uh, oil drip that every volkswagen has you know that's one of those things we kind of joke around and say if it's not leaking something's wrong with it um that being said it doesn't leave a puddle on the you know uh, uh garage floor just wanted to continue to show that this is all rust free here i believe too they put some new bushings on here in the front um steers really good but uh, like I was saying, you know, we kind of joke around about Volkswagens and say if it's not dripping just a touch, um, there's something wrong with it. And uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, maybe if I get right up on the car and trying to be super particular, I'm seeing, you know, a few little wavy spots there, possibly maybe bubbles underneath the paint. Like I said, there's a, I'm kind of trying to get real particular little crack there. You could go around with some touch up paint and uh, touch up these couple of spots and it would look pretty much flawless. Another thing, you know, that I can, when I always like to see that the guys do it right is the fact that, you know, these little veins in here are white. They're supposed to be that way. They're not, that means they took the car apart, painted it and put it back together. And that's the right way to do it. Um, instead of when you see those painted that that's not right. Those should either be black or white. So even if it's an all red car, those little strips would be black. So anyways, 1972 Volkswagen Beetle. This is the last year of the flat windshield. So it's a great car. Like I said, uh, we're putting miles on it, um, keeping a dealer tag on it and driving it until it sells. So uh, PeachtreeClassicCars.com. This is going to make somebody a really, really sweet, sweet uh, graduation gift or uh, just a really fun daily driver for anybody.